Hello, my name is David Lees. I'm the district manager from Yamaha for the Nuage group of integrated products for recording and audio post production. The system is a modular system and it is comprised of a master control, a fader control, I.O., and your choice of Cubase or Nuendo as the DAW. Today we're going to take a look at the master control and we're going to start by taking a look at the jog wheel and the integration of the jog wheel. And the thing that is unique about this system is that it is truly integrated literally from the design process forward so that you reach through the console, grab the software, do what you want to do. And the jog wheel is a perfect example of this. We don't ever have to touch the keyboard or mouse. We're going to take a look at the system here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the jog wheel and you can see that I can scroll through the project very quickly and easily. The second thing that I can do is I can zoom and I'm going to tap the zoom button which locks it on and now I can zoom in and out very quickly and easily with the jog wheel. I could also simply hold the zoom button down and as soon as I release I'm back to scrolling. So let's zoom out a little bit. Here's another thing that I can do. Let's lock that zoom on for a moment and we currently have a selected track here right there where it says score. I'm going to hold down this alt button with zoom on and I can now zoom in and out on all of the tracks to make them larger or smaller. Secondarily, I can zoom the selected track larger or smaller to quickly and easily get a better view of the material that I want to specifically work on. Let's turn zoom off for a second because I can also very quickly speed dial through my tracks by holding down alt and now I can just speed dial. You know, if you have a thousand tracks, it can be kind of nice to be able to get to a track very quickly and being able to just quickly dial to that track is very, very nice. So let's go in and uh, pretend we're going to do an edit here. Let's say that I'd like to cut the selected track right here. So I hit split and then I'd like to move on over and let's split it here again. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and do a fade in. I'm going to hold down the fade in button and you're going to see the fade in jump to where the cursor is. And now I can just roll that in to the position I'd like it to be in for my fade in. Or for example, I can grab fade out, do the exact same thing. And you can see how quick and easy this is to do. Uh, I might want to do a trim instead. Uh, let's do it right handed. Hit the trim button and now I can trim in and out very quickly, very easily, very smoothly. And I can do the same thing by trimming the front edge of the clip instead and just trim that, put it where I would like it to be. I can, of course, undo any of these edits that I've done. I can certainly redo any of the edits that I've done. And it's just that fast and easy to start editing in Nuage. Here's another thing I might want to do. Um, I might want to go into this clip and trim the volume up or down, do a clip gain very easily integrated and done just right here from the jog wheel. So without having to hardly move my hands around at all, reaching for a mouse, going to a keyboard, I'm able to do things that normally require quite a few action movements of your hand, wrist, mouse, etc. And I'm able to do them without hardly moving my hands around on the console. So that's a quick overview of the jog wheel. There's more that you can do with it. Of course, you can scrub, you can shuttle. There's a lot of other things. But just a quick introduction to how quickly and easily this jog wheel gets you into the editing process without ever touching keyboard or mouse. The other thing to mention on this jog wheel is that it, is, it has this phenomenal feel. It's a, it's a very rewarding experience to work with. If I give it a kick, it'll just keep spinning away, spinning away. Uh, but I feel very in control of how much kick I give it and I very much feel connected to the software itself. As I grab this jog wheel and move it, I can feel where I am in the software and it's a very visceral, tactile involvement with the software through the console that's quite rewarding. It actually makes it fun again. So that's the jog wheel. Uh, you'll notice around the jog wheel lots of buttons on the console. Uh, many of these uh, uh, are completely user definable. Most of the buttons on here are software controlled buttons that you can define, of course, 
from the factory. They have definitions already assigned, but you can change them to whatever you'd like. Uh, you can literally have over 200 defined buttons that do exactly what you want them to do, whether it's a macro, whether it's calling up a menued item, some type of an edit function. Literally anything that the, that the software can do can be assigned to one of these buttons so that when you push it, it does it. So up here we have the touch screen. And the touch screen allows me to access uh, all kinds of information, uh, including individual channels. So for example, if I hit the EQ button here, I'm now looking at the EQ for the channel that I'm currently editing. And I can reach up here and I can begin to EQ just by touching the screen. Now, by the way, I can grab knobs and move things around and EQ from the knobs as well. I can invert an EQ that I've done. So uh, I can move things around, but I can also just grab the screen and put the EQ where I'd like it to be. Um, that's one example, but we can get to the dynamics. We can get to panning. If I push the pan button, for example, now I can take and I can begin panning in surround wherever I'd like to go on the screen for a surround panning mix. I have uh, the ability to edit my plugins, to select channels. Uh, we have, for example, main EQ, dynamics, sends, cues, panning, inserts. All of these things can be quickly and easily edited from the touch screen, and all of this can be done from the master control. One of the places where the master control really shines is in ADR. So we're going to take a moment and take a look at ADR and Nuendo with Nuage. Okay, we're going to take a look at the ADR section of the master control in conjunction with Nuendo. And what we're going to do is we're going to Go ahead and take a look at our touch screen for a moment, and I'm going to push my transport button up here, my transport select. Currently, we are on the main tab. I'm going to push it. We're going to go to the marker tab. One more time, we're on the ADR tab. Now, I have transport controls in the ADR tab. I'm going to simply touch this, and it will move my ADR uh, transports down to my transport buttons down here on the master console. Um, the first thing that you would normally do is an audition. And so we would go ahead and do an audition of the ADR take that we wanted to do. Uh, it's currently queued on the screen. You can see it says, in the cinema, some things never change. I'm going to hit this. In the cinema, some things never change. Now notice what happened. I hit the audition button, and, the, and we got a count off beep. We got a swipe to center on the screen, and in the meantime, the talents line was already queued, so they knew exactly what they needed to say. This is, uh, makes it incredibly easy to get your ADR takes. Let's take a look at it one more time, and you'll hear the beeps, you'll see the center swipe, and we're currently going to hear the audition cue of what's going to be said. In the cinema, some things never change. And uh, it's that simple to do ADR. So uh, a very smoothly integrated ADR system. It incorporates the ability to do uh, multiple language takes. Uh, it uh, incorporates the ability to do continuous roll for Foley. Um, it, uh, uh, it allows you to do really anything that you need to do. It is literally the most flexible ADR taking system in the world. And that's a quick look at the Nuage Master Control. You know, to really get a feel for what this is, you have to get your hands on it. Me telling you how great it feels and showing you how smooth it is, it's just not the same as getting your hands on it. When you touch it, you really understand what I'm talking about. So what you ought to do is you ought to try to make an appointment to get in here to Full Compass in Madison, Wisconsin. Call your sales professional or call in on the phone and get an appointment or come on by. You are going to be blown away when you have a chance to get your hands on this and see what it does. Thanks for your time.